Morning guys, I've got my mask on again, I'll just take that off and um, just to let you all know that we're still operating our emergency advice and support in the garden but very soon that's going to change we're not going to be able to open our drop-in or our cafe for quite a while i'm afraid but in the meantime we are making plans to reopen and restart our activities program all with social distancing of course so uh, we're really looking forward to that and in the meantime, keep doing the activity packs, keep sending text messages and uh, keep picking up the phone to us because we love to talk to you and handing over to Tom. Thanks very much. See you all soon. Good morning, everybody. And yeah, that sounds pretty exciting. You could probably like hear all the hustle and bustle in the background there, couldn't you? There are people starting to return to the booth centre. We've got big plans. We're moving forward, pushing through. We can see the end, I think. It's going to be different. It's not going to be the same as the Boo Centre was. Uh, we've all got to be very sensible, otherwise it's not doable. We can't do it if we're not sensible. Um, so yeah, we've got to do all the social distancing and all that rules. Um, but yes, things are pushing forward and we are in the right direction, I think. I think we are. So yeah, um, what have I been doing this week? And more so, what have you been doing this week? I hope you've been plowing through the activities that we've been set in our Connecting Through Activities book. It's Superhero Week, isn't it? On Monday, you may remember I did my little cartoon Batman. Um, so I thought this week, when I sat down and I was like, you know what, what could I do to make it a bit more special? We did Selfie Week, not Selfie Week, Self Portrait Week last week, didn't we? So I thought I might try and combine the two. Superheroes, Self Portrait Week, maybe try and turn myself into a superhero. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, so I'll tell you what, I'll show you a little sketch that I did. And um, sort of like, I'll show you and how I did it. So, come on, I'm gonna have to blow it proper close. There we go, so you can just about see that, I think. Um, but what I'm sort of showing you here is the scale of things. So if you see, it's got lines on the paper. If you think about that, my head as being an egg, my eyes are about halfway up the egg, aren't they? So that's what I've always been doing wrong, is I've always been putting my eyes too high up. So I've been watching a couple of videos and I've learned that, yeah, if you do, if your head is an egg like this, your eyes are about halfway. Um, and then it's all about like quantities and how much space is in between each feature. I think it's, so your eyes, if you notice as well, the top of my ears are in line with my eyes. Um, and if you go between my eyes and my bottom of my chin, the middle of that, is the middle of my nose and then again where my mouth is it's in between the nose and the bottom of my chin so if you break it all down so a head halfway between the whole head is my eyes halfway between my eyes and my chin is my nose and then halfway between my nose and my chin is my mouth so it's all broken down into like little bits so let's see what I can show you as I uh, go through this so because I did the same sort of thing but it's not as easy when you've not got lined paper so you just gotta I did the practice on that lined paper and then I thought you know what I'll do the same here so there's my egg my eyes right in the middle of the egg and then my nose in between and then the mouth in between nose and the chin there um, right so what you'd see with dip there with my hair is I've rubbed out the line where my chin was and I've rubbed out the line where my head was and it's because you can't see that when there's hair on it can you um, so and also with cartoons you want to do it blocks don't you so you was not going to be able to see any of the texture in my hair or anything like that we want to do it all one color so if you think about it it goes around the sides and then it's around there so it's just that bit you want to be drawing and then the same on my beard you don't want to be doing all the details you just want to go around it with one line and then around that bit with one line so I've got my colors out now as you can see I think the only bit of this picture I don't like is the color of that pink Unfortunately, there's not a more suitable colour for my skin tone. Hopefully your skin's looking a bit more like one of the felt tips in that pack because mine was not like any of them. <clears throat> uh, yeah, he always wears a yellow cape, doesn't he, Robin? And a red outfit. I think I've looked at him afterwards and I've realised he actually has green arms. Oops. Ah well, he's got red arms now. Well, my version of. Um, so yeah, and then with the eyes, I've just drawn a little like a couple of pockets around it and I look like Robin I think I probably shouldn't have done my beard black either should I I mean my dad is it's pretty dark but it's not black you know what yeah always makes my pictures pop I always go around with that big thick black marker don't I colour all it in and I yeah it just makes it more look 
more cartoony. Um, the areas that were too fine to use the thick black, um, I think it's like my nose and my mouth and maybe like the pupils in my eyes. I went through with just a black biro. Uh, there we go, little black biro bit at the end. But yeah, it looks cool, doesn't it? I'm pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, it looks a bit like me. And it also looks a bit like Robin, so I think we've killed two birds with one stone there. Portrait week and superhero week. Married. Uh, right. I've got some riddles for you. I'm going to do some more riddles, as Richard used to do. We all remember the good old days when I could get Richard to do some riddles. But I've just not been able to pin the man down. He's a very busy young gentleman. So, um, <clears throat> right. You may remember. This time on Monday, I was dishing out two new riddles for you that went something like this. The answers will follow immediately after. You do not want me to be permanent, but to avoid me is a mistake. You can let me help you, but precious time it will take. Did anybody get that one? So. There is an answer that I found for this online, which we'll see if that's the official one, or see if that's the one you got. But I also asked Alex, and she said a different answer. So, the official answer was sleep. Um, so yeah, you don't want me to be permanent, you, but to avoid me is a mistake. Very true. You can let me help you, but precious time it will take. Yep, yeah, it's all just a riddle, isn't it? But, listen to this. Alex thought it could be a nurse. You do not want me to be permanent, very true. It's like there's not wrong with it a little bit, but you don't want it to be permanent, do there? And then, but to avoid me is a mistake. Very true, you don't want to avoid a nurse when you need a nurse. You can let me help you, yes you can, but precious time it will take. I mean, depends what the problem is, doesn't it? But hopefully it'll be fast, but precious time generally, that's what the that's what nurses give you, isn't it? So there, either sleep or nurse for that one. Um, and then the next one after that, was, uh, gain a lot of me, you'll be heavy. Earn a lot of me, you'll be rich. What am I? I think this one was fairly simple. The thing that gave it away for me was, earn a lot of me. What do people generally earn? It's money, isn't it? And what's the British currency? Pounds. So if you put that into, gain a lot of me, and you'll be heavy. Pounds like, pounds and ounces. And then, earn a lot of me, you'll be rich. Pounds like money. Simple, those two. Hope you got those yourselves. Very smart if you did. Uh, and then the next two that I'm setting you for Monday. Um, so this one is actually by J.R.R. Tolkien, the person who wrote um, Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. Uh, they're probably the most famous. I'm sure they've done many others. Um, but this one was from one of their books. So see what you guys think of this one. Alive without breath. As cold as death. Never thirsty. Ever drinking. All in mail, never clinking. Hmm, I'll give that one quickly again. Alive without breath, as cold as death. Never thirsty, ever drinking. All in mail, never clinking. Hmm, there's bits in there that threw me off. But there's bits in there that made it a bit, ob bit more obvious. So, alive without breath. Think about that one. Never thirsty also. Okay, next one, I'm gonna set you, so remember this. As a stone inside a tree, I'll help your words outline thee. But if you push me as I stand, the more I move, the less I am. Sorry, I stumbled a little bit there, I'll do that one again. As a stone inside a tree, I'll help your words outline thee. But if you push me as I stand, the more I move, the less I am. Another good one, another good one, and you will all know the answer when you hear it on Monday. So stay tuned, come back for Monday, and we'll probably have some more riddles and some more answers. Right, okay, next up. Oh, right, yes, yeah, so I've just been flying through my book this week, my activities book. I said I was going to, didn't I? Uh, first of all, let me find the... Microwave meals. So uh, this time it's James and Richards. You may have seen there. Uh, James and Richards. And then, yeah, I never knew that we could cook eggs in a microwave. So I had a go um, Thursday morning. 
and uh, let's have a look, see what I actually got up to. Good morning, Booth Centre gang. How we all doing? We're back in my kitchen. Got some very simple cooking for us today. You know what we're gonna cook? Some egg. So here I go. I'm not going all fancy with my multiple cameras today. We're cooking eggs, so I'm just doing one camera. Here's my eggs, here's my bowl. I'll get some milk out, salt and pepper. That is all we're doing. I've never cooked eggs in the microwave before, so it's a learning experience for me too. I didn't even know you could do it this way, so let's have a go. Right, as you can see, we've got our little ingredients list up here. All it says, two large eggs, two tablespoons of milk, salt, pepper as desired. I'm gonna go three small eggs because I don't want to mess up the ingredients so much. So yeah, method B, the eggs, milk, so salt and pepper in a microwave safe bowl until blended. You can tell it's really early in the morning because I'm just stumbling over all my words. My coffee has obviously not kicked in yet. <coughs> but right, I'm gonna crack on with that and back to you in a sec. A little tip for you here. If you get any egg, in with your eggs and you can't and you're struggling to get it out it's always hard to get it out with like a knife or a fork or something like that you want to use another piece of egg so this will like get it out two tablespoons of milk salt and pepper to taste 45 seconds in a microwave gonna make a brew in the meantime so you sort of started to form like a ring around the edge we see that it started to form like a bit of a ring around the edge, but it's still runny in the middle. So we're gonna chop that up because we're making scrambled eggs, aren't we? So chop it up those big bits like that. Sorry, move the camera out of the way, didn't I? So just chopping up the big bits, mix it all together, and then when we go back in, it'll just gonna cook those last bits that I haven't cooked yet. I'm just doing it in 15 second blasts and then just keep doing that until it's all completely cooked. You know what, at one point I thought, this ain't gonna work. I was like, it's just like making half the egg lumpy and half the egg runny. But, I persevered and look how it looks. Come with me. Check this out. Proper, decent, scrambled eggs. I never expected it to look like that, but could you get any better than that? Look at that, it's got the good jiggliness to it. That is proper good. S microwave scrambled eggs. I'm very happy with that. Yeah, um, I don't know, I might put mine on. Some toast, or what I'll probably do is save some for later and have an egg butty. Yeah, that's cool, isn't it? I'm happy with that. There we go. So, back to Tom in the studio. Whee, that was good. Yeah, I did enjoy it. Um, I had a little bit on toast with my breakfast, and then I had a sandwich in the afternoon. It was great. Yeah, uh, cooking them like that in the morning as well. You could have could have cooked like a six, a whole six box, and then yeah, that's like a couple of meals for the day, two or three meals even. Um, yeah, throw a few bits of bread in there, maybe a bit of cheese and ham or something like that. I like brown sauce on mine. Little touch there's from me. But yes, thank you very much, James and Richard, for that easy microwave meal. Hope that maybe. Inspired some money to go out and just cook some eggs. It's easy. It was tasty. Right, next up. Okay, yes, yeah, so I'm just flying through it. How did you guys do in your crossword? I did mine. There we go. So you can see I've done the all the green ones are the green ones, the blue ones are the blue ones, pink ones are the pink ones. There's, a, there's only one diagonal in there. Don't know if you saw it, but whilst you're looking for yours, there's only one diagonal in there. So all the rest of the verticals and horizontals. Uh, hope you did alright on that. I got them all, probably 10 minutes, something like that. It's nice while still. I just sat down having a brew. This book has just been, it's just been so therapeutic, hopefully to you, because it has been to me. Uh, what else was I going to say? Oh yes, the couch to 1K. I went out yesterday with my GoPro, went down to Angel Meadows and uh, strapped my GoPro onto my chest and then went for the brisk walk, run, brisk walk and then a run. And then I got home, I looked at my GoPro, and I don't, even, I don't think, I must, maybe I didn't turn it on, maybe I didn't press record, maybe it ran out of batteries, something along those lines, because I don't have it. But yeah, it was, uh, it was literally five minutes in Angel Meadows. Um, I, was, I was talking to myself whilst I did it as well, obviously trying to narrate or talk to you guys, because I was on there with like a little GoPro on my chest there, talking to myself, running around Angel Meadows like a right 
crazy person. That's what I was going to say. Uh, but yeah, anyway, it's dead good. Um, also, what I found whilst I was doing a little bit of looking up of the channel, Couch to 1K challenge, the NHS have actually got one, which is um, 5K, Couch to 5K it is. And so it's based, but that's based over a six weeks or something like that. Um, and yes, it starts off very similar to this with a brisk walk for a minute, run for a minute, brisk walk for two minutes, and then a run for a minute. And then just slowly increases you day by day. Um, obviously with break days and all that sort of stuff. So I think they even did a podcast to listen to whilst you're doing it. So if you've got a little pair of headphones or whatever, download it before you go out, stick it on, and then whilst you're walking around, you've got somebody saying, right, yeah, you're doing the right thing, and then in 30 seconds you need to change over. So yeah, go on the NHS and just type in Couch to 5K. So it's all up there, easy to find, and looks great. Right. Um, so yes, talking art, uh, talking, getting back to the booth centre. Um, you may have remembered me showing you the uh, the new mosaic that we did for the 25th anniversary of the booth. Um, so yes, last Friday I managed to get up um, the mosaic on the wall. So here's a little video, just me showing you where it is in the smoking area, etc. Hello everyone, here I am in the booth centre garden and we've got some very big news what I did last week check this behind me da, 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 da. who've got a mosaic up didn't we looking smart oh Nereus <laughs> Nereus helped me he, I needed his muscles I couldn't do it on my own so Nereus helped me uh, it was last Friday it was so yeah just thought I'd show you it all so here he is the full one how cool is that? Yeah. But yeah, I'm uh, looking at it from the smoking area. Oh yeah, thanks Narius. Narius has got the hoover on, so you can hear. Mm. Thank you very much. Sorry about that, I shut the door now, you can't hear. Narius. But yeah, look at how cool that is. Let's get some side shots so you can see it from inside and from the smoking terrace. Obviously we've got all our tables set out at two meters each we've been practicing all that sort of stuff for the last couple of days figuring out how many people we can get in and so obviously everything so two meters difference and hand sanitizers and yeah as you just saw there Nereus has been running around like a madman cleaning everything up but yeah I just thought I'd show you the booth center new mosaic celebrating 25 years it is up how cool is that Oh, isn't that beautiful? I'm going to put that on the green screen behind me and just stay there. Looks lovely, doesn't it? So excited for everybody to get back so we can continue doing some more just arty things like that. Like It's so impressive some of the stuff that you guys all managed to get done at the centre. Uh, I really can't wait to be able to do it, get more activities going and things like that. Yeah, like Amanda said, I think there is going to be gardening stuff. Well, not necessarily just gardening, but like activities in the garden. So we can do all sorts of other things in the garden. We don't have to just be gardening. It could be the creative writing, could be art, things like that. We've got the space. Um, as long as it's dry, we could do all that sort of thing. I think we're even maybe even talking about um, doing things in Angel Meadows uh, because it's not far from the centre. It's a nice little green space. Um, we could do, yeah, we could do like little activities outside, even if it's like some of the exercise or gardening, just looking at the nature, maybe like little nature walks, things like that, see what we can see, just, it's relaxing, it's therapeutic, it's social, isn't it? It's just, it's going to be good for us all to get back and just have a chat with someone. That's the nicest thing, isn't it? It's just having that community vibe and that family that the Boo Centre has created, which we're all missing, I suppose. Okay, right, let's remind ourselves of the Boo Centre a little bit more. One of my favourite bits, you all know it, my headphones are coming down, I've got some more songs for us all. What do you think we should listen to today? Right, so, we've got another couple, we've got uh, Guns N' Roses, and we've got the White Stripes today. Um, let's go Guns N' Roses first. Um, so, Guns N' Roses, this one, it's going to be Sweet Child of Mine. Get that rolling. Um, this guy's done another one of those ones. It's just everybody so talented these days. Play all the instruments. Well, well, I'll play loads of different parts at the same time. Sings, plays loads of different guitar parts. But here we go. Let's have a listen. See if I can 
See if I can sing along to this one. I never know what to go with my pitch, do I? She's got a smile that it seems to me Reminds me of childhood memories Where everything was as fresh as a bright blue sky Now and then when I see her face Takes me away to that special place And if I stay too long I'd probably break down and cry Child of mine, whoa, 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 sweet love of mine. She's got eyes of the bluest skies Lily they thought of rain I'd hate to look up into those eyes And see an ounce of pain The hair reminds me of a warm safe place Where as a child I'd hide And pray for the thunder and the rain And while it blasts me by Whoa, whoa, sweet child of mine. Whoa, oh, yeah. Whoa, oh, sweet child of mine. Sorry, ad libbed. Whoa, oh, oh, sweet child of mine. Whoa, oh, oh, oh sweet child of mine. Oh yeah, where do we go? Where do we go now? Where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go now? Where do we go? Where do we go now? Where do we go now? Where do we go now? Oh, sweet child. Another one. Another, another banger. No rushing here, right? I've already told you it's White Stripes. This time it's from a young lady. She has done everything herself as usual. Seven Nation Army, we all know this one. It's the, uh, it's the one that's been used in it, like turn into a chant in everything. Like you hear it in football, pretty much every game. You even hear it like political things these days. The Seven Nation Army couldn't hold me back They're gonna rip it off Taking their time right behind my back And I'm talking to myself that night Because I can't forget Back and forth through my mind Behind a cigarette and the message coming from my eyes says, leave it alone.
Don't want to hear about it Every single one's got a story to tell Everyone knows about it From the Queen of England to the Hounds of Hell And if I catch it coming back my way I'm gonna serve it to you And that ain't what you want to hear But that's what I'll do And I'm feeling coming from my bones Just find the Far from this upper rift forevermore I'm gonna work the straw Make the sweat drip out of every pore And I'm bleeding and I'm bleeding and I'm bleeding right before the law All the words are gonna bleed from me and I won't make no more Stays coming from my blood Tell me go back that song in it uh, yeah love that one thank you very much guys um, if you've got another if you've got a request if you've got something you want to hear on Monday give it a chat in the box below or stick it on a Facebook page over the weekend something like that I will get that message and I will sing it on Monday um, what else do I have to say uh, not a fat lot really I think we're rolling towards the end I hope that you guys are still doing your boo center cards because we're still giving out 10 pounds every week whoever does these um we had um monday we had what's it's danny's video sorry i was just forgetting his name there we had danny's poem video as well and he is requested that we write a little poem if you do send it to him you could also be winning another tenant for that so yeah i think i'm gonna leave you there boys and girls um i've been tom i hope you've got lots to be getting on with superhero wise i think we're going to be doing it's trees next week so we've had birds we've had a few different nature themes i think it's going to be trees next week so we may even have like a little uh, checklist for you to go out seeing as we're allowed out a bit more now aren't we a little checklist so we can go walking out and about um see what we can find in our local parks or local walks um i'm very excited for that because i'm a bit of a geography geek as you all probably figured out by now so yeah i'll be doing that running around getting all sorts done uh, but until then, make sure you stay safe, you stay busy with our Connecting Through Activities book. Um, that's all I've got to say, so yeah, stay safe, wash your hands. I've been Tom. <laughs>